Good morning, everybody. Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR. How are you guys doing today? Well, guys, uh, my voice has almost made a full recovery. <laughs> almost? Yeah. We've uh, been taking the last few days off. Sorry about not posting, but honestly, I really needed that downtime. Mm -hmm. Time to relax and recoup and get my laundry <sighs> done and spend some time with the kids. Yep. They've officially hit um, their summer vacation. Yes. Which means uh, it's bouncing off the walls. Crazy town over here. But hey, what hey. Is, what's summer without a little crazy town? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> it's nice. It's uh, It's been a really good week, mm -hmm. you know, to be able to sit back, relax, hang out with the family and get some of the domestics done and everything. Yeah. You ever feel like you need a vacation from your vacation? Yes. I get like that sometimes. And All the time. <laughs> yeah. Especially when there's like those big meetups, you know. Um, it takes a lot of my energy and I love them. Yes. I love hanging out with everybody, but I definitely need a few days of downtime afterwards. Yeah. Anyhow, we are actually walking over here to um, Country Road Cure's place because as you guys know, if you guys follow Country Road Cure, um, they are out over in uh, the West Coast right now traveling and seeing some family and Roxanne's got another graduation she's got to go to for her nephew. Yep. Anyhow, long story short, we are house sitting for them. We're going to take care of their animals and stuff, so mm -hmm. figured uh, why not bring you guys along today? Come check on things with us. Man, look at their clover. Yeah, their clover is popping. They have got so much clover. I've been stealing it for the rabbit. Oh, I know, me too. Anthony said he, um, when he was leaving, he's like, Mal, don't forget, come over and take that clover. And I'm like, I won't forget. That's a lot of good, good eating for him. Mm-hmm. Aw, look at these guys. Hi, Snowball. Hi, Jessica. How's your guys' water doing? Hi, guys. Yeah. Or girls, I should say. Hi, girls. Let me put my coffee up here real quick. Hopefully it won't slide off. Stay. <laughs> Hi, girls. Good morning, ladies. Hello. Hello. Let me grab the... So this one right here with the um, brown nose. This one is Snowball. Wyatt's rabbit. And then this one right here is... Jessica, it's Roxanne's rabbit. You girls seem to be doing good today. You guys ready for a little something something? Oop. I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of pellets, but I'm gonna get you some greens. Here. There's a bowl for you, and a bowl for you. There you go, ladies. I'm gonna get you guys some greens too. Here, here's Snowball. There you go. Don't forget to eat your greens, ladies. There you go. See, and the rabbits would rather eat the greens than the pellets. Like, they know the pellets are in there. They were just chomping on them. They could easily move those greens out of the way. But no, no, no. These babies would rather eat their greens, huh? You'd rather eat your greens? Hmm? They got all their chickies over here, their baby chickens. Let's see. Yeah, you guys. Chickens are always chickens. They always flap out and about. Freak out. <gasps> yeah. And then I'll walk this guy around. Let me get Roger's food in here. Good morning, Roger. Get off the wall. There you go. Good morning, Roger. There you go, bud. Good morning, dude. There you go, buddy. I'm gonna get you some fresh greens, too. Don't forget your greens, Roger. Here you go, buddy. Good boy. Good boy. 
You want a sneak peek and see how big their baby chickens have got? Man, Anthony and Rox are going to be so surprised when they come home. Check these guys out. Look how big those babies have gotten. Huge. Especially that one right there. The gray one, that was one of the first ones hatched. And man, he's giant. Those baby chickens sure have gotten really big. Anthony and Roxanne are going to be so surprised when they come back and they see how much they have grown. Now these chickens over here, um, Anthony and Rox set it up to where we didn't really have to, we don't have to do much. They have their big um, feeder already full, which is this guy right here. So the chickens, they come over and they stand on that thing and then it lets out a few things for them to peck. They also have that tub right up there that's set on a timer and it spins and it gives them a treat every so often. Um, and then right over there in the corner, you could see their automatic watering system. And all we've been doing is going in and making sure that the cups are clean. <coughs> I can actually see from here that the cups are clean, there's no leaking, and that thing is still full of water. So these guys, I don't have to do nothing, except I do have to go and check for their eggs. So let's go and see how many eggs they got, because Ant and Rocks definitely don't want them sitting on any more and making any more babies at this time. So, well, what do we got? What do we got? Got two here. Oh, hi, lady. Excuse me. All right, just three eggies this morning. I'm gonna throw this back in there. <laughs> so, now that we've gotten all of the rabbits and the chickens done, I'm gonna run over here and I'm gonna feed the cats. Anthony and Roxanne have the cats on a pretty good schedule. We're doing it a little bit later than they're used to, but you guys hungry? Come on, Kiki. Kitty, 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 kitties. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you guys want some breakfast? Huh? You guys want some breakfast? Key. Come on, midnight. Mm. Relax, you actually, guys. There you go, guys. Come here, Midnight. Come here. There you go, sir. There you go, sir. You gonna come get some? Got Jaina and Mora covered. Yep. They're all good there. I'm gonna check their water. It's just the car driving by. Relax, you guys. Hi, they got Jaina. Water. They're good. Jaina and Mora have been um, staying at our place because they know that nobody's over here, right? So they get all lonely and they come running over to our place, and then we've actually let them sleep inside the last couple of days. You grabbing some greens for our bunnies? Mm-hmm. Oh, you know what? I got eggs in my pocket. I should probably put those in Roxanne's house. She set up her bucket for water glassing before she left. So what I've been doing is I've just been taking all of her eggs. <laughs> I've been dropping them right inside her bucket. So when she gets home, she'll have a nice bucket full of uh, water glassed eggs. All right, and I got it right here. Look at all of those eggs we've been collecting. There you go, Roxy. Just take them and drop them right in here. That's it. Stored those eggs.
All right. Well, now that we got the uh, eggs put away, got all of the animals over here done, we're gonna go over to our house and do the same. All right. Yeah, I got, got a good bundle. <laughs> Good morning, Reek. Good morning, chickens. Good morning, Reek. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Look at you still have all that food. You still got all that food, dude. I don't even think I need to feed you today. You got a whole bucket. You got a whole bucket. You're just gonna get some ragweed, bro. You're just gonna get some fresh ragweed. Ooh. That's all you need. You got a whole bucket of food down there, dude. You're fine. I'm gonna let Gary Plenty. just feed them some ragweed because they got their whole bucket full still. I guess I overfed them yesterday. And that's okay. Let's see how our rabbits are doing. Hi, Babs. Hello, sweetheart. Good morning, Babs. Good morning, Babs. She's still got a ton of food down, too. You look good to me. And they've all got plenty of water. I'm just going to throw some greens in there. Good morning, Bruno and Shrek Buster. Hi, Shrek Buster. Hi, Bruno. Hi, Bruno. Hi, Shrek Buster. They've got plenty of food down, too. Yep, that's still pretty full. Hello, Marshmallow. Mm. All they need is greens. They've got food, they've got water. There you guys go. You guys got plenty. Look, greens, marshmallow greens. Look, greens. They seem nice and happy. Yeah, they're doing very well. And there they go. You guys are good. Chickens are good. Yeah, we're good. All right. Well, that's been our normal uh, morning routine for the last couple of days since Anthony of Rocks have been gone. Yep. And then we'll uh, go and check on the baby chicks and everybody's water and everything uh, again. Yeah, like mid-afternoon-ish. Well, and then we uh, go over there and water Rox's garden and uh, get that guy all good and whatnot. Mm -hmm. and check the waters again, make sure that there's no chips of wood in the water or anything else. Yep. And yeah. Pretty easy going, pretty straightforward. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But it's been, it's been nice being able to sit back, relax, and hang out with the kiddos and, you know, watch some movies and play some games. and Yeah, and for me to have that downtime to kind of recover from the allergies. Nope. I'm still not like 100%, but I am so much better than I was. Yeah. So, so much better than I was. So that's a huge win for me. Um, yep. Speaking of gardens, I want to say thank you to Mike and Sid with Three Mississippi. Yes. Um, the last time that we kind of put anything out on the internet, we went over to David with Come On Outdoors, and um, he made us a nice dinner and stuff like that. We yep. had live streamed earlier on in the day, and we were messing around with our garden, and we had run out of soil. We ran out of garden soil, and um, Three Mississippi, they were in town, and they knew that we were going to be meeting up with them later, and yep. what did they do? They went and bought us some soil. So, <laughs> thank you, Three Mississippi. 
Mississippi for the soil. Um, we're going to be putting it into good use yes. and getting it out here in the garden. To be honest with you, though, we have not done it yet. Like, when I talk about being exhausted and when I talk about being, um, you know, like withdrawn or whatever from a big meetup and lots of commotion, I mean it. Like, we literally, like, hide in our house and just <sighs> decompress. Yep. And I think it's really good for um, for us physically, mentally, everything, so that way we can keep going. We've got a lot of plans that we want to keep going on through the weekend. Um, yep. We actually did buy all those popsicle sticks and stuff. Yes. So the kids are going to start making their little mock, um, I don't know, templates of their playhouse that we're going to be building for them really soon. Yep. So, it's going to be cute. Yeah. It'll be cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to it because, uh, you know, it's going to be the next thing that we do. Yeah, it's going to be one of the next things that we do. Yeah. Obviously, we have, hi, more and more. We've got garden stuff we got to do. We've got more building stuff we got to do. Um, we are going to want to go to town sometime in the very near future and buy the windows and stuff for the cabins so we can get that done. Yeah. Um, but there's just so many other little odds and end things that we have to finish up. Like the fencing for the chicken area, we got to build the bigger chicken coops. Like we've been talking about these things, and it's just been kind of like one of those things. When, when, mm -hmm. <laughs> when? <laughs> and we need to get those things rolling and, yeah. and going and everything else like that. Mm -hmm. That way we can set it up to where it's got the automatic waters, they've got the automatic feeders, they've got everything to where we're literally being able to go down there, look at everything, look at them, and be like, all right, everything's still good. Yeah, very much like how Anthony and Roxanne's main chicken coop is set up. Yep. We had a, a very nice setup similar to that when we lived in Arizona. And um, we literally only, it was like every other day or every third day we had to go down there and actually feed them. Yep. We did go down every single day just to make sure that there was no leaks and everything was good. Um, but if like, say, we went to a meetup or something and we left them for a few days, they would be fine to yeah. be unattended for the few days while we were gone. Yeah. Yeah. So it was it was nice, and I can't wait to get it to that way because yeah. it's uh, it's gonna co it's coming. It's coming. It's coming. The bunnies are gonna actually have something similar to that too. Yeah. Because uh, yeah, that's how we had it last time, and we're gonna do it a little bit bigger than a five-gallon bucket. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> definitely bigger that's than how, that. That's how we had it last time when we had bunnies. And that was, I mean, it worked. It worked out really good, but uh, good luck going anywhere. And even with bunnies, it's a little trickier. Yeah. They, they're little chewers, and they are uh, they get into whatever's in that cage and find a way. They definitely will find a way. Mm -hmm. and they like to chew everything. Yep. So. Everything and anything. Our bunnies haven't really, I mean, we haven't had them long enough for them to be too destructive, but I imagine over the summer, they're probably going to start... Going a little crazy. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. We'll see. We're going to give them lots of love and attention and, um, you know, just keep an eyeball on things and mm -hmm. it'll be all right. It'll be good. It'll be all right. Hey, um, I was thinking about it, so I want to give another huge congratulations. A little golf clap. Ridge Life. Yes. 25,000 subscribers, That's bro. Awesome. I see you. Thank you so much, uh, everybody that has gone over and showed some love over to Tim with Ridge Life. He finally hit that huge milestone of 25,000 subscribers, guys. That is huge. Yes. Um, it's a tremendous feeling. I'm so proud of you, Tim. You've been putting in a lot, all the hard work, and I'm super excited for you, man. So yep. go on over to Ridge Life and tell him congratulations from Mel and Gary. <laughs> yes. Yes. It's awesome. I can't believe that you haven't gotten there sooner. I know. To it be seemed, quite honest. It seems like he should have been there a long time ago. Yes. Um, yes. But he finally got there. Congrats, congrats. Little by man. little. It just shows, friends, dedication and staying consistent. And it doesn't always happen overnight sometimes. But slow growth is still growth. So don't ever forget the process and, um, you know, yes. stay the course. Yes. Yeah. It's awesome. It's very, it's very cool, man. Mm -hmm. um, what else was I going to talk to you guys about? I feel like I kind of like dazed and confused, friends. When we, when we go several days without posting, 
Um, and I do like that decompress. It takes me a while to get back into the swing of things. Yeah. Um, and so for me, like my brain is just so scattered and so all over the place right now. I need to, to get back into the swing of things. I've got um, sponsorship stuff that we've got to be working on today for them, which you guys are going to be seeing in upcoming videos. So thank you to our sponsors that are upcoming because they're really helping us out as far as um, with building materials and stuff like that. Um, um, I've got some other things that I'm working on in the background with other channels that you guys are going to be seeing coming up soon. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. So, I mean, like, there's a lot of stuff that I'm working on in the background. Um, I guess for us right now, my brain is just so scatterbrained right now when coming off of a big meetup like that. And then, friends, we have this weekend, which is kind of chill. But, of course, my daughter is planning a sleepover with one of her school friends <laughs> yep. first thing in the summer and then next weekend we have another meetup <laughs> yep. this time though um we get to kind of go and hide in the background a lot more because it's a, a, a much larger meetup it's the oaky homesteading expo yep. um a whole different group of youtubers are putting it on it's um keeping it dutch like moorhead um the walker family farm like that whole group of people, which um, we don't really know them that well, but they are very awesome folks. And we, yes. ha we have a lot of subscribers that watch them and then also watch us. And our subscribers had invited us over to his expo last year and we were like, sure, let's go. We went and we had a blast and the kids yep. want to go back again this year. So um, I have it on the calendar. We are planning on being there. So if you guys didn't get to go to the meetup that we were just at hosted by MT Homestead um, this coming weekend, well, I guess I guess not this weekend, but the fall like this the first weekend of June yep. is when the Oki Homesteading Expo is and it's in Pryor, Oklahoma. So if you guys want another chance to meet us or just to come and hang out and stuff, we will be in Pryor, Oklahoma then. Um, and I don't know all the details on like how much it cost. I think last year it was like I think it was twenty bucks. Twenty bucks to, to park, park and then yeah. that was that was it. Yep. And then everything else was just kind of like if you want it, you buy it or yeah. And this one, um, like the Oki Homesteading Expo, this one last year, I'm just going off of what I know from last year, they had a lot of guest speakers, um, they had actual like people teaching you, it was more hands-on and teaching you how to do things for your farm and teaching you how to um, process animals and grow different things and yeah. um, it was very educational as well as fun. It was fun for the whole family. The kids had a blast because they had um, like a petting zoo type thing and pony rides and yeah. I don't know, it was a lot of fun. Plus there was a big um, expo area where people were going and selling their home goods and I don't know, it's farmer's market type vibe. Yeah. But it was really fun. So we are planning to go to that one too. So like I said, my head is kind of all over the place right now. I need to get back on track. I need to, um, to I need to get my life together. <laughs> I need to get my life together. <laughs> Uh, uh, but I just, oh man, it's just, it's hard sometimes. I'm like kind of going here and there and everywhere and summer vacation just started and we have so many things that we want to work on yep. and um, it's just, yeah, I need to get it's to my, happen. I need to get my life together, friends. It's going to happen. I don't, I'm not too worried about it um, yeah. because I mean, dude, it's been nice to yeah. be able to sit back and relax. And oh, it has been. I've been thoroughly enjoying it. I needed this time yes. with, with my kids. I needed this time um, down. Yes. You know? And I mean, your voice wasn't the best anyway. No, it was horrible. You were Minnie Mouse in it <laughs> for a while. I wouldn't be able to do like any of the stuff that I have to do for um, like our sponsors and things like that. I wouldn't have been able to do those because I sounded like crap. You know, sound like Minnie Mouse. Yeah, and, and funny. they're gonna, I'll send it over Every to year. them, you know, for whatever, and then they'll kick it back to me and say no. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah. So. It made me. I mean, it's always funny. It sucks that you get it every year, though. I do. I, and I don't know if it's the ragweed or what it is, but you know what? Um, I was thinking about it. Remember the day before Tim? I wasn't feeling the hottest before Tim came out, mm -hmm. but then the day that Tim came out, I did all that weed whacking. Yeah. And then it was like that night, it was like, boop, I'm, go I'm done. And then I was basically, it was all downhill from there. And like, even right now, it's still not 100%, but it is so much better than it was. Yeah. Yeah. I need to just be the one weed whacking and doing all that. I don't mind doing it. I actually enjoy doing it, you know? Like, I no, enjoy I know. it. I hear you. I just, you know what I mean? I do, I know. Or yeah. it. 
it's a lot easier for me to deal with that kind of stuff. Hey, our grass over here is Sorry, battery died and had to recharge it. <laughs> Anyhow, um, the grass is growing up a lot, man. And actually, I was thinking about it. Anthony has that new mower. Mm -hmm. Uber who? Big blue what? <laughs> yep. And um, I know Anthony wouldn't mind if you came over here and drove it around. I don't know if, if the grass is ready for that, but... Yeah, I mean, I can definitely mow it. There's a... Uh, It'd be easier than the whacker. Yeah. I mean, there's some get... spots you'd have to whack. Yeah. You know, but... Oh, yeah. But it would at least... I'd be able to get it around mm -hmm. and get it going to where I need it. And once you um, cut it, too, and, like, the blades go everywhere, it helps to, like, reseed, Seed too. Mm -hmm. So that might be a good something to do. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you want to get on that or not, but... Yeah, i got to do some yard work and whatnot. I'm going to go check on the pool and make sure the pool's all good, vacuum it, do all that stuff. Oh, yeah, because the kids are definitely going to be wanting to swim this weekend with Julia's little uh, sleepover. Yep. Yeah. So we'll... Uh, <laughs> We gotta clean up around, yeah. get it all straightened up and whatnot. We've got that project that we're gonna work on with the kids though, with the popsicle sticks. I'm gonna work mm. on them with that today and the, the glue gun. And I already had them draw pictures on what they want and like about how they want it. Our biggest thing is like where. Yeah. Now, me and Gary are just not in a total agreement on where we want their playhouse to be no. yet. We have a couple of ideas. I. I just, I'm not sure. I'm not sold on any one of Gary's ideas yet. And he's not sold on any one of my ideas yet. No. So we're kind of just, I don't know, trying to figure it out still. I don't know. <sighs> we'll find a spot. Yeah, we'll find a spot. But that's going to be one of the things that we're going to work on with the kids is getting their models going. Um, Gary's going to work on some yard work and stuff. And... Got some more gardening and things to do and I don't know. We've got a lot. We've got a lot to do and I've got so much back-end computer stuff to do guys like I'm I got to get my life together as I've said a couple of times today. I start I got to get my life together And then we can get our plan and stuff in order and then uh, we can keep moving forward Well, I already know what I'm doing today. Yeah, so. <laughs> I, know, I know what I'm doing today, too. I know what I'm doing today. One day at a time, we're going to get it. Yep. But we're going to start putting out some more Real Talks for you guys. Um, I know it's, like, approaching the weekend. Today's Friday, and usually um, we only do it Monday through Friday. But because of the craziness of this schedule and stuff like that, I think we're going to start putting some out as things progress through the weekend. We do have plans with um, David and the Drifting Dreamers for this weekend. It's Memorial Day weekend. Yes. So we're not going to hang out with them until Monday, and then Julia's got her sleepover this weekend. But either way, we'll be popping in with you guys and hanging out with you guys um, and sharing updates and stuff as they come. I'll get my head together, and we'll get back in the swing of things. We'll get back in the groove. So. I have no idea what they just ran off for. <laughs> But we're going to go Somebody find out and we're going to get, guys, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with us today. Um, thank you for all the love and support. We have received your guys' emails asking, you know, what's going on. And don't worry, we're okay. We've just been taking some much-needed downtime. So no. we'll be back tomorrow with another episode of Real Talk with SLR. So until then, friends, we love y'all, and we hope you have a good one. And we'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.